Well, welcome aboard Dawn Mist. This is the fifth addition to the BCBM Syndicate Boating Fleet that we manage in the UK. And she's a 61 foot boat and you'll have seen uh, at the beginning of this film how she was created from base plate right through to the finished article that you see here. Um, she's all dressed and ready for a show and we're ready to start selling shares in a at £10,000 for an 8% four-week share. Or well, we do have half shares available at £5,000 and that's for a two-week, uh, which gives you spring and autumn, summer and winter alternate years. Um, we've also got school holiday shares for those of you who require uh, specific weeks and get to choose them first. There is a slight premium for that, but we can uh, give you the details and information on request. So here she is, 61 foot of sheer luxury. No MDF, no chipboard, nothing whatsoever. Craftsman built here in Nantwich at uh, the Navigation Narrowboat Company who have built all the previous four and this one as I say making five uh, of our new additions to the BCBM fleet. She's absolutely superb. Uh, she's got every uh, element of comfort one could ask for in a narrowboat. Uh, she's got all the various little uh, niceties and luxury items and quirky bits right down to on the floor down here. Uh, you can even see we've got the uh, BCBM signature of uh, underwater keel or under keel cooling should I say um, which is obviously eco-friendly and looks after those essential supplies of uh, beers, wines and spirits, but could be used for uh, fruit and vegetables if required to do so. So uh, that's on all our boats. And uh, there's lots of storage space, uh, lots, of, lots of drawers and uh, lots of covered, covered space. There is uh, the aperture there waiting to receive the microwave. Uh, it's got the uh, gas cooker and uh, gas grill, gas oven, and it's got the full-size fridge, etc. Uh, in there. Uh, so it's all the mod cons that one would expect. The blinds, as you can see, one is up and one is down, and they're in their craftsman-built uh, cassettes, so they don't uh, wave around. They are wooden blinds, they're not plastic. There's no expense been spared at all. Uh, on any of the, uh, the, the the sort of elements of the boat, and the storage space that we have is uh, is tremendous. There's oodles of uh, uh, of cupboard space and drawer space, as I say, for all those uh, essentials that you'd need on a cruise. We've got LED lighting throughout the boat. We've got uh, carbon monoxide, CO2 alarms, uh, smoke alarms, fire alarms. Uh, and everything else as one would expect uh, for health and safety um, and for the well-being of the boat obviously uh, of a, a boat of this caliber. <clears throat> Moving through we've got uh, the dinette area which converts to either a double bed or it converts to two single beds giving you a, a twin bed uh, facility uh, so with a fixed double it's a fixed double plus uh, a double or two singles. Uh, it's got Webasto diesel central heating throughout the boat and um, it's got moving through into the saloon <coughs> it's got the uh, the added comfort of uh, Wilson's recliner leather uh, Oxblood armchairs uh, complete with the footstools for those relaxing evenings after a long day cruising uh, curl up in front of the telly nice glass of wine and uh, everything that you could possibly want. The DVD and TV uh, is on a swivel effect uh, so it comes out and swivels around so you can watch it obviously while you're uh, while you're at the dining table as well and then it folds away neatly. It's got the DVD incorporated in the television. It's got a stereo radio system um, with the stereo speakers and it's got yet again uh, more storage space uh, for your glasses and things like that and shelf space for those uh, 
personal uh, little knickknacks that you'd like to take on board on your particular cruise. It's got a, a multi-purpose, uh, multi-fuel stove for uh, those winter chilly nights to keep you nice and warm. Although I have to say that it's really either the Webasto central heating or the multi-fuel stove, if you have them both on together, you would most certainly need the side hatches open because it would be uh, absolutely too warm. The side hatches incorporate, uh, as over there by the dining table, <coughs> you will see that it's also got the Perspex infill. So you could have the hatches open um, and you've got the Perspex infill uh, to keep the weather out or if it happens to be showery. Um, they also have the fly screen uh, that comes down there and then you just touch it and it goes back up again. So you can have sort of uh, the choice of three different uh, elements or facilities with regards to that. Coming through the boat into the walkthrough uh, bathroom, which again has all the, uh, the high-tech elements. It's got a, a 900 quadrant shower, which is the same size as a, a domestic shower within a private household. So on these particular boats, if you drop the soap, you can easily bend down and pick it up. Unlike a boat that has the bathroom with a corridor down the side and they only have the small uh, sliding door uh, showers and you drop the soap, you leave it where it is and you shout for another bar of soap because you can't bend down in them. It's got the solid uh, granite work surfaces and solid splashback granite splashback uh, to match. Uh, with the porcelain bowl, the mono tap, uh, and then it's got the cupboard, uh, loo roll, etc. is in there. Uh, again, LED lighting, and it's also got in the ceiling a solar powered fan, again, uh, keeping the theme of our eco friendly uh, policy uh, throughout. So during daylight hours, and especially when the sun shines, um, it operates the fan silently but when it goes dark the fan stops. Uh, we've got a uh, an electric uh, macerator loo so gone are the days of any uh, odours that can arise from this particular area. Uh, it has a uh, <coughs> it has a um, uh, a black water tank gauge so again that's an added advantage that you can uh, you can see exactly when you need a pump out etc and the controls on the shower are thermostatically controlled so gone of the days are when you are in the shower and somebody's in the in the galley decides to do some washing up uh, and suddenly when the pressure alters on the system uh, it goes freezing cold or scalding hot uh, it maintains its ideal temperature all the time throughout um, on this particular system that we have. It's got the Cardine hard flooring both here and in the galley, uh, which is extremely high quality um, flooring and uh, is definitely fit for purpose. And we've found on the previous four boats that uh, it, its longevity is absolutely first class. Moving through into the, um, into the fixed double bedroom. The doors obviously take you out to the front well deck where you can sit out there in direct, with director's chairs uh, on, in the nice summer evenings. Uh, we've got the full length wardrobe and it is full length because it goes down some sort of 18 inches, two foot below the level that you can see there. It's got, uh, it's got six shelves in there and then when the door opens, it's got the mirrors both internally and externally. And it's got this very nice little uh, feature where the lady of the house can sit at the end of the bed and do her makeup on there. Uh, the man of the house can please himself, of course. Uh, radiators throughout again with the uh, bespoke Craftsman built shelves on top of each one just for popping your morning coffee on there. And all the... Uh, fixtures and fittings throughout the whole boat are all solid wood, um, Canadian ash, uh, there is no MDF, no chipboard whatsoever used in any of our boats 
uh, in our opinion, chipboard and MDF uh, and water just do not go well together. It's like a sponge. Um, but the, um, the cupboards actually go right the way round, so it maximises the, uh, the space that's available in there. So there's lots and lots of storage space for all your uh, personal belongings, etc. And of course, uh, after the show, when the various little bits of uh, props, etc. disappear, there is lots of space for things up there. We've got these very nice uh, cabin curtain uh, bungs that go into the, uh, into the portholes. Uh, and they're actually quite full and plump, so it gives it a bit of a contour to the actual uh, soft furnishings as well. Most of them on many boats, they're just a two inch thick uh, piece of foam that's covered. But we've actually taken time and care on these and then they can store away uh, when not in use, uh, but give you total privacy uh, when you're actually sort of in the bedroom uh, in the evenings. And that really is internally all we can tell you about it. We've got carpets on the, uh, on the gunnels, um, from the floor up to the gunnels. Uh, we've got grade four Axminster Hotel uh, carpet on the floor, carpeted areas. As I say, Candine throughout. All the fittings are first class and high quality and no expense spared when we put together a BCBM boat for syndicates. Um, we're not the cheapest on the market, but we consider ourselves one of the best. It's always very dangerous to say we are the best, but we certainly feel that we're up there uh, with, with the best of them. And we certainly give you value for, value for money, as well as following on from the purchase of your share. We look after you, we care for you, we hold your hand and ensure that right throughout your boating experience, it's absolutely first class from the word go. You'll see in a minute that we'll cast off and she'll disappear off up the canal on her maiden voyage. And our owners that have bought shares so far will have many happy hours cruising in her and so they should in such a first class beautiful boat as Dawn Mist.